microphone, but I can't get the pieces back together, so my audio is probably going to be really bad, and I'm probably going to get a lot of complaints on it, but anyway, I just wanted to talk about, um, I thought Don Wells was staying off of YouTube with his drunk ass. I thought Don Will said that he had to stay off of YouTube. I even heard some people say his lawyer told him to stay off of YouTube, especially drunk. He ain't listening. He ain't listening now. Last night, might have been this morning. I think it was, might have been this morning. Could have been last night, though. But I saw it this morning where Don Wells called Ziggy while she was doing a live and was cussing her horribly and disrespecting her on her own channel. And he was accusing her of saying things that she didn't even say. And she offered to even rewind it so that he could see what she really said. And he was unreasonable. He wouldn't listen to any other thing other than she was saying bad things about him, he said. And that she was making his family look guilty in front of people. But that's not true. That's not true. She might be pointing out facts. She might be stating facts. She might be showing his and her drunk live YouTube activity and talk about it on her channel sometimes. I'm not sure if she even did that. A lot of people do. I have talked about their getting drunk and going on lives and acting crazy and then they think people are going to believe that they're another type of person that they're not and then behaving in another way publicly. I mean, they should know better, and I think they do know better. The way he was talking to Ziggy, he knows better than that. Did he comprehend after she told him like a thousand times? Did he, did she ever, did he ever even think that she's not attacking him? She was discussing something that he said in an interview. And possibilities, theories, whatever. But what I have to say to that is Don Wells and Candace are making themselves look bad. Ziggy's not making them look bad. The YouTubers are not making them look bad. They're making themselves look bad. By not caring about the kids, it's obvious. Look at the house. Just looking at the house alone tells you that they do not care about those kids. Or maybe they know they're not coming back because they don't want them back. I think they done got used to the freedom of just being able to barely exist and stay drunk and messed up every day and night. It's her new way of life and a new way of life. They've always been that way. They can't blame losing the, any of the kids. They can't blame any of that for their reasons of being drunk and disorderly. They're responsible for their own actions. And Don Wells was harassing and bullying Ziggy on her channel. And it was live in front of everybody and the way he talked to Ziggy was unbelievably I mean it was so disrespectful and the way he cussed her over and over and over and over 
If I was Ziggy, I would have ended that call way before she, way before it got that far. And I would have blocked him or he couldn't call back. But I'm glad she posted it. I'm glad she didn't edit, edit that out. Because I think that everybody ha needs to have the opportunity to see what is going on with those two, Don and Candace. And that just shows us that, which was what we thought all along, is that they're just partying all the time. That's all they're doing up there. And every time I see a video up there at that house, Dale is always there. What, does she live there now? I think Dale done moved in up there because that white truck is up there every day, every night, every time there's a video of that yard. And there's one video of Don driving that white truck that somebody told me belonged to Dale. Funny, I haven't seen that black car that I saw at the end of their driveway that with a Virginia tag. I haven't seen that up in their yard. <clears throat> I wonder about that. How that person just parked there that day that I happened to be riding by. And then I haven't seen it again, which I don't live in the area. I, I'm going to buy YouTube videos, but you would think that you would see that vehicle more often in some of them videos. I've seen other vehicles more than once, but that one was in my own video. I haven't seen that car in anybody else's videos. I saw that one, that car, a black car with a Virginia tag at the bottom of their driveway. It was probably too low of a car to drive up that driveway without possibly damaging their vehicle. So I think it was a wise decision to park at the bottom if they had done that. But I, I think also that this, the time that I rode by and did my video of the area surrounding where Summer went missing, I think they were gone to that uh, Dr. Phil show and I didn't know it at the time that they were gone. Anyway, I really wanted to go in that shed and I didn't because I didn't want to trespass. And I think I made a smart decision to not do that. But I did manage to get some rocks from the end of the shed driveway and that got kicked out from tires. It got kicked out into the road. But you could tell that they came from the driveway. And I got a few from the edge of the driveway at the shed at the bottom on Beach Creek Road, which is also their property. And I have some rocks that I got from the bottom of their driveway. And that's all in my video of my drive by there. And, but anyway, back to that black vehicle. I don't know who that was, why they were parked there. Is that somebody that might have went with them to the Dr. Phil show? Maybe somebody was there watching the place while they left and went to the show. I don't know, but... I, I don't guess it makes any difference. But funny how that one was just seen that one time in my video. And Dale's truck is up there seen in, all, in a bunch of videos. She's, it's like she's always up there. And on one video where they were all drunk and carrying on on, on YouTube, Dale was there, and Candace had mentioned that she just got up out of the bed to come in there and do get on the video. But then she said no, she wasn't in bed. Anyways, it made it look like that Dale is staying there. She has a bed there. 
and I don't know what's going on with that. Why'd they have her up there? And where is that little girl that Dale had with her that one day that summer's age at the beginning of October? On Evil Exist channel, there's a video of a little girl on a swing, on summer swing, actually, summer's age. And on this thumbnail, it's easy to find the video. Go to Evil Exist channel and look for the video with the little girl on summer swing. And it says, who's that? With her head circled. You can't miss it. That little girl was up there with Dale on a video where Don was walking around doing a Facebook Live. And he videoed the little girl on the swing and he videoed the lady, Dale, sitting there. Because somebody told me that was Dale. I don't have any reason to not believe that they know who, they, who it was. But she had a little girl with her, summer's age. Don was videotaping the whole yard and them and then down over the hill at the road. And he videotaped a red truck going by with a black ladder rack going all the way around the truck bed up high. And it was a n newer model kind of truck. It wasn't old. That video is still there. And they mentioned the red truck with a black ladder rack in the video. In some of their videos, they talk about one like that being in the area. And on the day that Summer went missing, and then later, what, four months later, that truck pops up in another, on in a video with Dale having a little girl on a swing that day. I wonder where that little girl is now. I wonder, I can't help but wonder if Don could have possibly sold her and made a big profit off of selling that little girl that Dale had with her that day. She was sitting in a chair just looking while the little girl swang on summer swing. I think it was like October the 7th. It was, I think, in the first week of October. And Dale is up there a lot, and you don't never see a little girl with her. There's a lot of videos of Dale and Dale's truck being up there. But only that one of that little girl. I'm considering all options. And the sheriff said everybody's a suspect. So everybody that I know of that hangs out with Don and Candace, in my eyes, they're suspects. And I would like to know more about their involvement and their knowledge. I wonder I wonder if Dale has guilty knowledge of Summer, being that she spends so much time with them while they're all messed up on drugs and drunk. I'm sure they've probably talked about a lot of stuff in front of Dale. I think she needs to be interrogated, see what she knows since she spends so much time up there. And why? Why is she spending so much time up there? As, um, as bad as Dawn is about cheating on Candace, I wouldn't doubt it if that's Dawn's little girlfriend that he's got pretending like it's Candace's friend. It might be Candace's friend. But I think Don's a little bit close to her. He's driving her truck and everything. And speaking of Don driving trucks, I've been seen in a few videos since he got in trouble for DUI. 
and went to jail for it, and I heard that it was a third offense, and I don't know if that's true, but I heard that. But I'm on, I can't understand why is he driving. I've seen him driving Grandma's truck. I've seen him in the white truck. I've seen him driving vehicles since then, since the DUI. Maybe they're going to let him keep his license until he's convicted in court for that DUI. But I think, if I ain't mistaken, I think in my state, they automatically take them right on the spot. If they, if you get pulled for a DUI. Anyway, I think it was disrespectful all the way around what he did to Ziggy on her live channel. And I think it's disgusting how he treated her and how he acted publicly again. And it just shows, it just shows how sick this man is and how he can act for the camera. He can act like a whole different person. But then you get him drunk, all of his true colors and true characters come out when he's drunk. I don't think he can control either one of his personalities. They, his personalities change when he when he's drinking or else he's lying about what kind of person he really is and faking like he's a different kind of person for the cameras. And then when he gets drunk, you can see the real him. And I'm going to tell you, it's ugly. It's ugly. He has a very ugly personality. And that story that he told on a video about a lady once accused him of trying to lure her little girl to get into his truck that was standing down by a road. I believe that lady was telling the truth. I believe Don Wells is the type of person who would, if he would ran up on a little girl standing out on the side of the road, if she was just standing there all alone, and I think it might have even been at night. Don't know that for sure, but the mother came to the rescue, and she knew that he was trying to lure her into that truck, and she reported it as so, I believe. And he was mad about that. Like, can you believe, can you believe I tried to help? And then she flipped that on me like that. I believe she told the truth. And I believe that if Don did have anything to do with Summer's disappearance, and if something bad has happened to Summer, I think that wherever Summer is found, I believe there's going to be others found close by. I think Don has done this before. Maybe that's what some of his sheds were used for. It could be just another theory or a possibility, but it's been on my mind. And it's been on my mind how he treated Ziggy and how disrespectful that was and how just how bad he made himself look. It just showed us, he showed everybody, look how mean and cruel and heartless and ugly of a person I really am compared to what I show you on the videos about me being a church-going, godly man. He's just showing us that what we already know is that Don's being a fake.
when he's acting all Christian and everything, he's a fake. It's for show. If you go listen right now, go look up Ziggy on YouTube. And where it said the title of the video is Don Texted, Don Called, Don Called Ziggy on Live. I think is what it said. Something about Don calling Ziggy. It was live. She tried to tell him over and over and over, but he didn't want to hear it. He was too drunk to care that it was alive. He loves drama. So does Candace. They love the attention and drama. And Candace hiding on the outskirts of all of this, thinking that she put enough distance between her and the reporters and the videos and everything where she don't say nothing. She thinks she's going to skid right through this untouched. Is that same thing that Grandma did with Rose? Did she just keep her mouth shut and skid right on through? Fast forward, what, 11 or 13 years later? Here we are. She's still missing. No suspects named. I think they're trying to do a repeat of Rose with Summer. And I don't think that Don knows all the truth about what happened that day with Summer. He only knows whatever Candace wants him to know. And she can fake anything she wants. She can over-dramatize anything. And he's basing it on, oh, I don't think she would have had anything to do with it. Because she's a good mother, but he had to close his eyes as he said that she was a good mother because he knew that wasn't true. She's not a good mother. She's not a mother. That's why she shaved off Summer's hair is because she was too lazy to even spend a few minutes fixing her hair every day. How about, how hard is it to brush a child's hair and put it up or at least just brush it. Talk about it was too much trouble. Her hair was too much trouble. Too much trouble for a person who doesn't want any responsibilities of being a parent. She just blended in with the kids as one of the kids. Like one of the kids that's a teenager that goes to church in hoodies and slumps down in the seat in the seat and pulls the hoodie over her face and goes to sleep in church. That's the kind of godly woman she was. It's on video. It's on YouTube. Just look, search Summer's Church and you'll see a lot of it. The way she dresses, the way she acts in church. She didn't want to be there. She was not there for whatever information was being served at those times. I think Dawn made her go. I don't think she wanted to be there at all. And I think she was forced by the way she acted. I think she was forced. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about my paranormal session last night. I apologize about that, but it all went wrong. Something just went wrong, and my equipment kept failing me. My, uh, my phone just kept stopping recording, even though there was no... It had plenty of storage where I've cleaned it out recently, and again, before I did the video. And for some reason, it just kept stop rec stopping recording, and I didn't realize it. So I did go through this whole long session where I didn't get any evidence. But I did go through the motions and tried my best, and um, I never got anything. But I realized that the camera wasn't even recording. It stopped after like four minutes. I kept going way longer than that and didn't know it. And that was frustrating. 
And so I tried to start it over and just show you the spirit box and then that didn't make sense. Plus it didn't have anything on it. I was asking questions, but somehow some radio station was like trying to come through and that's not supposed to even happen. I didn't think with a spirit box, I didn't think it was supposed to pick up radio stations. These are supposed to be the, the static channels. And so I don't understand why I was hearing music. I've never heard music before come through it, but I did it last night. And um, I heard this man's voice several times once it even sounded like he even said yes to a question but i can't verify that and i don't even know who that would have been there was no name or anything but it was a total fail because of the equipment failing and then today my microphone breaks so I'm, i know you probably can't even hear me so I apologize for that. Back to the audio problem. I'll order another one, but it'll take a couple days to get here. If I can find one on Amazon Prime, maybe I can have it here in a couple days. But I hope you can just bear with me on this audio. I'll do the best I can with trying to speak up so you can hear me a little better. And I'm just really disturbed today. My focus on my video today is how disturbed I am about how Dawn Wells treated Ziggy on her live stream public in front of everybody. I think shame on him for doing that. And he completely lied about how he was going to start staying sober and going to stay off of YouTube with all that mess. That all went out the window. Because he was obviously drunk. And he was obviously showing his ass. You, you ought to heard the vulgar talk the way he talked to Ziggy. All because he thought she insinuated that he might be a suspect in his daughter's disappearance. Dawn, yes, you are a suspect. So is Candace. So is Grandma. So is everybody else surrounding Summer's case. If you were surrounding the case or involved in the case or named in this case in the very beginning, you are still considered a suspect. That's what the sheriff said. Fact. Fact check me. Don Wells, you think you can get on there and talk junk, talk trash, and cuss, and, and act like a stupid fool on YouTube and on somebody else's channel on a live stream and get by with that? You're not getting by with it because what you're doing is you're giving everybody a front seat window into your pathetic life and the pathetic, the pathetic life of your Candace and the pathetic lives that I do not want them kids to ever have to go back to. Y'all are not parents. And yes, you are suspects. You are the number one suspects. I don't care what Dr. Phil told you that he thinks about you and your innocence. He's wrong, and he's lying for a reason, probably just to get his show over and keep you two fools on the stage long enough to do a show because Candace, at the slightest, first slightest little bit of accusation towards her, and she's ready to fake that crime and run, cry and run. Is that what she's been taught to do? Is that what they did with Rose? They cried and ran. 
I bet you they wasn't helpful at all in finding, helping find Rose. And still ain't. And they don't care. They're not doing anything to raise awareness about Rose. They wanted her people to stop talking about her so it would just die down. People would forget. And that did happen until this happened the summer. And that brought all the light back on Rose. If you don't know, that summer's aunt, Candace's sister, that came up missing like 11 years ago. I still don't put it past Candace even possibly having guilty knowledge at minimum involving her sister's disappearance. She can't handle to even talk about her. She won't talk about her. Sound familiar? She won't talk about Summer either. Guilty. Guilty knowledge. That's what I believe. I've already told y'all before. If it turns out that I've been wrong, I will get on here and use my channel to publicly apologize in front of whoever is around the, to watch me apologize. I will. And I will apologize and sincerely, genuinely apologize and name names of who I owe apologies to. Everybody who becomes cleared and proven to be innocent, and I, if I have wrongfully accused, I will publicly apologize for that. But just like the same with my opinions, I will publicly post my opinions and my theories and my thoughts and my possibilities and whatever else I want to post. I will, and I'll talk about it. And how dare Don Wells ever jump on my channel. I will make sure that everybody, everybody in the state of Tennessee, every judge, everybody will get a copy of that footage. Because I wouldn't let him get by with it. If I was Ziggy, I would take that footage and I would show it to CPS just in case they haven't seen it. And I would show them that how intoxicated he was and how horrible language he used on her live video. His behavior being so immature. They were obviously drunk and probably on something too some sort of drugs, and they were halfway not even coherent as to what was really happening. He completely, he was completely wrong about what he was even accusing Ziggy of. And for him to do all that and to be wrong too, that just makes it even worse. I just say, how dare him? And I thought that he was going to do the right thing and he's going to stay off of Facebook, especially when he's drunk. That didn't last long. That didn't last long at all. He's back. Don and his bad behavior is back for the whole world to see. And I hope that somebody makes sure that CPS... And TBI and anybody else they feel like should have a copy of that. I think it should be shared around Tennessee to the authorities. I want them to see what a fake he is in their face, in their presence. He's one person. And in front of the, the news, mainstream news channels, he acts like he's a, he portrays himself as if he is such a good Christian man and lives such a, a straight and narrow life. And he's as innocent as innocent can be in every way, all areas. Everything anybody's ever accused him of is wrong. Shame on them. I hope it gets shared around to the right people. And I hope that the right people can see his behavior and how he treated Ziggy and wrongfully, wrongfully. 
she was even she was innocent and she's been using her platform to try to help raise awareness and try to help find his missing daughter all this time all these months for five months ziggy has used her channel for summer and for her to be abused and harassed and bullied by her father after everything she's done for his daughter way more than he's done and ziggy has done way more than candace has done i say thank you ziggy for everything that you do for summer and i appreciate you and i respect you for all the help that you have given to summer and you have done a wonderful job at raising awareness and keeping Summer's name circulating. That's what we need. And Don, that's the opposite of what Don and Candace want. They want us to shut up and let this die down and disappear just like it happened with Rose. That's what Candace expected to happen because that's the way it played out with Rose. And it's not happening that way. And she's getting more angry and more angry because it's not happening that way. Us YouTubers won't let it happen that way. Shame on us. We become the bad guys because we won't just sweep it under the rug and just turn the other cheek knowing that y'all two, Don and Candace, are full-blown liars about what happened to Summer. She was not abducted by a stranger. That is a lie. And for you up there lying with your fake alibis and your fake stories about what happened, sitting there won't even consider one other possibility there could be no other possibilities could it you don't like it when we sit and discuss possibilities because more than one time it's already been touched i believe and the more those two act out the more they're freaking out because they know that the YouTubers have already done claimed it. The YouTubers have already done put it out there that it's a possible theory. And too much information is being put out there and they are not happy about it. They want everybody to just go back to their narrative and follow their narrative, which leads to a dead end road. It leads to nowhere. Exactly right back to Don and Candace is where it leads. Sometimes I'm even doubting that the whole swimming thing even happened that day. I just wonder if something might have happened to her the night before. But the answers are going to come out. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to use my pendulum again. And I'm going to make another video of my questions. Because I have questions that I really want to know the answers to. So I'm going to use every tool in my toolbox to try to get those answers. And that's the same thing Ziggy is doing. And she's getting trashed by Summer's dad, which is doing absolutely nothing, nothing to help find Summer. Nothing. Think about that. Go watch how he talked to Ziggy who has dedicated so much of her time and her channel to Summer Wells, his daughter. And that's the thanks she gets. He wants to talk about that's the thanks he gets. No, that's the thanks that Ziggy gets. 
Really? From you, Dawn? Shame on you and Candace for disrespecting Ziggy like that. You were both disrespecting her. I heard C Candace screaming in the background shit that she shouldn't have even been saying. And both of them was just drunk. That's what everybody just needs to know, is that them two are just drunks and they're drug addicts. And that's what you are witnessing when you watch that video of how Don talked to Ziggy. You will see what I'm talking about. That's his real true character. And that's also Candace's real true character, what you hear in the background. It's sad. It's sad, and it's another reason why they should not get the boys back, in my opinion. And if Summer is found alive and well, and I'm still holding on to hope that she will be found alive and well. Somehow, some way, I'm hoping that that happens. And if she is... I do not think that she should be allowed to go anywhere near them two, Dawn or Candace. That is that would, that would be completely wrong. I don't think that would happen. I don't there would be charges. There would be charges. There would have to be. But the truth's going to come out. The truth is coming out. I think the police already know way more than what they can say at this point. Five months into the investigation, they can't tell us everything they're doing. And they are given more updates, more frequent updates. And I believe that they have, they have, crossed all their T's and dotted their I's. And I think they're on top of this case. And I think they know more, especially when it comes to the phone records. I'm pretty sure they should have gotten them records back by now. And I know they're going to retrieve a lot of information from them phones. I'm counting on that because they use them phones for everything. There's a footprint for everything they've done in them phones, especially Don and Candace, and especially Candace. And they might even figure it out if it's true that Summer didn't even go swimming that day. That would make sense as to why they lied about a bathing suit, they being Candace and H lied about where the bathing suit was put on her at. Each claimed that it was put on at their house. And there was no bathing suit. She was wearing a sundress out in the water in that video that we saw. I think it was a made up day. That didn't really happen. I don't think Summer got to go swimming that day. I think something more sinister happened to Summer and it involves Candace. I can't help it. I can't help it. I don't know if she flew off with her with her temper problems and she's got a history of it, of abuse. She's been charged with it, physical abuse. She's violent. I can't help if, I can't help but wonder, did she lose her temper on summer the day or night before? and beat her to death. I, did she really want her to disappear that bad from her life? Did, was she really that jealous of her? Did she really have that much hate for Summer? It all points that way. And she's doing nothing to help find Summer. She's hiding. She is hiding from law enforcement she's hiding from every every camera every interviewer anybody who wants to ask her questions she's hiding 
and she's been hiding since the very beginning. She's not coming out because she knows she's guilty. She is the one who holds the key to everything that happened to Summer that day. It's Candace, and I believe it's going to be proven. And Don is a control freak, and I just can't imagine Don not being involved. He takes control and is involved in every other aspect of their life. Why wouldn't he take control over this situation? He's controlling the narrative. I think Don, at, at minimum, has guilty knowledge. And I think that everybody that has guilty knowledge and is not coming forward, I think they're all going to go to jail or prison. Because it is a crime. My thoughts are not facts. I didn't, I'm not an eyewitness. I'm not an eyewitness to anything that's happened except for what I've seen on YouTube. And I've seen Don and Candace really showing their true colors on YouTube. And especially like last night or this morning on Ziggy's channel. Y'all go check that out. Y'all go check that out if you hadn't already. And look. Look at how he treated her and think about what if he did you that way? And she was innocent. And it just shows how abusive he is. To abuse Ziggy after everything she's done to help find Summer and raise awareness of, of Summer, done way more than Dawn or Candace has done or will be doing. They're not doing anything. They haven't been doing anything, and they're not going to be doing anything to look for Summer because they know where Summer is. They're not wasting their time. They'll waste your time, let you go out and search and keep searching and keep searching, but they're not going searching because they know. They know where she is, and we're all going to know where she is because it's coming out. The truth is coming out. Be patient and wait for it. It's coming. Justice is coming for summer. Thanks for watching my video.